Hey, what's going on guys? Dopes Warner here, and in today's video we're going to talk about the uh, pros and cons or difference or reasoning behind why I went with a 3D printer kit versus printing my own and sourcing my own parts, which is what I initially had planned on doing for my second build um, on my printer, which is coming on Tuesday, that I'll be live streaming on Wednesday for you guys, the build. I had wanted to build my own printer from the ground up and sent in like terms of um, printing out all the parts, um, getting all the hardware from the hardware store, and you know doing it all myself without any kind of kit or anything like that. I thought it would be really cool to be able to do that. So I actually spent some time and I went on my thingiverse and decided on a printer I want to build and I started printing out. These are all, I probably got something like 40 to 50 hours worth of just prints in here. It's pretty much all the prints I need for the uh, Rep Wrap Wilson RT version, which is basically like a modified Prusa i3, which is the printer I'll be building. Well, I printed those all out, and then I went down to my local hardware store with my little spreadsheet with all my bill of materials, and that's where the trouble started. Um, it well, for one, my hardware store by my house, it was an Ace. I didn't go to like a Home Depot or Lowe's. And if you know Ace, or if you have Aces by your house, you know that they're kind of smaller hardware stores. So they had a lot of stuff, but it was pretty condensed. And just finding the stuff was difficult. And they had, they had probably half of the uh, screws or bolts or anything like that that I needed. And so I got my half, put it in my bag, and I was thinking to myself, like, shit, I did the math, like, on how much they cost, because there they, they sell them, like, by the piece. So I thought, cool, I want to get, like, you know, big things of these nuts and bolts, I won't really be needing all of them. And uh, I did the math, and I was already at, like, 50 bucks just in, like, half of the screws that I needed. And I still needed another half of the screws and nuts. I still needed um, to figure out where I can get my hands on some 2020 aluminum, um, as well as some um, threaded rods. And all the electronics too on top of that and so I was doing the math in my head and I'm like shit it's gonna cost me you know I'm already I'm only in it like the the filament I'm only I was only about twenty or so dollars into it but then that's another you gotta think like a uh, hundred bucks minimum in screws and hardware and then probably another hundred plus bucks in electronics and then you've got no guarantee that all your stuff is going to really work together. I mean, obviously, if you follow the build materials correctly, you should get the end result correctly. But if you're getting hardware from different sources, especially when I was doing like my little nitpick thing, they also, because all of the build materials for the screws I had were all metric, um, they didn't have all of them in metric. So I tried to find a similar one on some in the uh, like US standard or whatever for the screws. And so it was just getting really complicated, and I basically decided that this sucks, um, I don't really like this, and I don't really have the money right now to be potentially buying $50 worth of screws and nuts and bolts and stuff that I might not be able to use or might not work for my project. So basically that night I went home and I started looking around and I spent probably, an, probably one to three hours just looking at different... 3D printer kits on uh, Amazon, on eBay, on 3D printer sites, on the RepRap forums, like different sources that were recommended and stuff like that. And I decided to put this off, at least for now, um, and for simplicity's sake, and for cost sake, um, go ahead and get a kit, which is again why I got the uh, Full Good Tech, it's a Prusa i3 2020 aluminum frame, because I paid 289 um, that's shipped for everything and I mean you get all of your aluminum frame the 2020 aluminum you get all the nuts bolts threaded rods you get the ramps board you get the Arduino board you get a hot end you get a hot bed the only thing you need is the like 8x8 uh, glass plate to basically put on top of your hot bed which sorry I remember my nose my allergies are killing me but um which I do have because I purchased one thinking that I might need it for this printer right here so for me it almost makes more sense to buy a kit like what I'm doing, then you know you've got everything that's going to work for 290 bucks. You know you've got everything, which is pretty solid. Like I've been seeing reviews on this particular 
rep rav for you know 290 bucks and people are saying nothing but really good things about it but you get that and you can always upgrade from that you could replace the hot end you could print out parts and do you know custom modifications to it, which is what i will definitely be doing but at least you have a unit to work with so i'm not saying that building your own 3d printer and going out and finding your own parts is a bad thing i'm just saying i feel like it's not cost effective and I feel like it's definitely going to take a lot more time and potentially be a lot more of a headache than just buying a kit that you know has everything you need together. And because they manufacture or buy them in bulk, they get a discount on their parts, so they're able to give it to you at a fair price. So that's just my opinion. I don't know. Again, like I don't know whether that's 100% true across the board or what you guys think, but for me, that's what I've experienced personally, and that's the reason why... Again, after all of that, I ended up going to the kit, which sucks because I did want to build this printer and I was really excited for it, but um, there's no sure thing that says I won't print it down the line or I won't finish building this other printer down the line. But anyways, I'm really excited to build it starting this uh, Wednesday again at 11 um, a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it will be a live stream. You can see me building it live, hang out in the chat, whatever, um, and it'll probably go on for anywhere from six to ten hours or something like that. So even if you want to just stop by for a little bit and hang out, that'd be awesome. So, anyways, guys, I hope you all are doing well. And on that note, I will end the video. Dope Swanner, and I'm out. Peace, guys.